Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing a bonus reading for you guys. You guys again had the highest viewership. I deeply appreciate all of you guys for um, supporting my channel so widely. Um, I am gonna take a second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Cancer sign out there. You can also check your other signs and placements, see if those readings may resonate better, if that happens, or if they complement this reading as well. Keep in mind the energies can reverse or flip-flop, and that's not unusual in a general reading. As always, guys, please don't try to force yourself into a reading that is not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of cancer? Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Cancer, please give me the energy of the sign. Thank you. Please give me the energy of the sign of Cancer. All right, Cancer, you are starting out with the Six of Coins. Or, I'm sorry, Six of Cups. You have the Seven of Wands in the reverse and the Seven of Cups. Okay. So, Cancer, you have options. I feel like you're planning. You're making plans, um, especially with regard to... Um, your future with your home and, and in love as well. I feel like you're making plans right now and you're looking at all the different options that you have available. Now, there could be somebody here uh, from your past or you could be factoring in your past um, as you're making these plans. Um, I do see a progression happening for you and it is with regard to um, feelings and emotions and love. Um, there's a sense of you looking back at childhood or looking back at a, a time when you felt very happy. It could even be you're looking back at time, you know, better times with, with family or friends. But there's something about this um, looking back that is affecting the flow of your current state with regard to home, family, and love. Um, I am seeing that there is somebody here that you are dropping your guard with. This could be someone from your past. You may have felt at some point that this person was a threat towards you or your family in some manner. Um, I feel like that threat has passed or you don't feel threatened by this person any longer. And I do feel like you're kind of letting down your guard. It's, it's almost like you're letting someone from the past into your into your um, emotions or your feelings. So let's see who is in your energy. All right, the person in your energy, we have the Four of Wands reversed. We have the Ten of Wands and the Five of Swords. Now their energy feels very different. So with the Five of Swords, this person, I feel like they're in a fight mode, but it almost feels like they're fighting for this connection, to be honest with you. It doesn't feel like they're they're fighting against you, but they're fighting for this connection. I do see that there's been an ending here. It could be an ending between the two of you, or they could have had an ending in a marriage or another relationship. I'm also seeing that this person feels like they are carrying a lot of responsibility. They, um, they may even feel very burdened by the responsibility, but there is a sense that they um, are carrying a lot of responsibility that, and they're wearing a mask of some sort with regard to this. There is something underneath it all that is moving very, very slowly in their energy. And I do see them somewhat wearing a mask and it's causing a problem. They're, you know, they, they've just got a lot on them for some reason. All right, so let's see, let's see the energy between the two of you. They feel burdened for sure. Ah, the Empress. So something here has the ability to grow and you both are aware of it. So like I said, this could be someone from your past that things ended with and now things are beginning to change. There's a chance of growth and and for this relationship to really become something big. There's changes, a lot of changes. 
that are happening here. Now, if this if this ending wasn't being represented as an ending with you, they may be coming out of a marriage or another relationship. Let's see uh, what's affecting this. I feel like there's a lot of change happening here, and I feel like it, it is making you feel more happy, more peaceful. The Six of Wands. Yeah, there's success here. <laughs> there's success, yeah. That's what's affecting the connection. Possibly a title. Um, let's see your outcome at the end of the week. Show me the outcome at the end of the week. The moon in reverse. Yeah. So something is getting revealed. Something is definitely being revealed here by the end of the week. Um, I am feeling like whoever is wearing the mask or the, you know, the feeling of things being masked in your person's energy here, that mask is coming off. So something's getting revealed. At the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Swords in the reverse. Now, that's underlying energy. So, I do feel that right now there is a little bit of a lack of clarity. Truth needs to come out. Clarity needs to happen. And communication is something that needs to happen. All these are underlying themes in this reading. So, let's clarify. Why is the Six of Cups here? Why is the Six of Cups here? You may have known this person since childhood or just had a history with them in some manner. All right, we have Temperance and the Knight of Pentacles. This is somebody that things were very stuck. Things were not moving um, forward. They could have been moving very, very slowly and then halted. There was no movement whatsoever. You're, you're feeling a little bit um, caught up in this person's energy. I do feel like there's healing, though, that's taking place. You're definitely balancing out your energy, which is good. Um, I do see that some of you have gone through something of an ascension, which is also very good. You may be looking at things a little bit differently. There's a very spiritual nature about your energy right now. Two of Cups. Page of Wands. Yeah, you have good luck coming in. So this is why you're kind of dropping your guard. It's because I feel like this person may be reaching out to you. It's about love. You've gotten good news about a partnership, about love, about a soulmate here. And it's causing you to kind of drop your guard. It's like you're realizing that this person is not a threat to you or a threat to your, your happiness or your family for that matter. So I feel like you're able to now kind of let your guard down and you're able to like um, talk with this person, express emotion. All right, we have the world and we have the tower in reverse. You're wrapping up a cycle here. You're wrapping up a cycle. Um, you're looking at the options of how to rebuild in this connection, how to come back from this. You're closing out a cycle where there's been pain and a lot of stagnant energy. And you're looking at all the options on how do we rebuild this? How do we work things through? So let's look at their energy. We have the sign of Sagittarius here. We have the sign of Gemini. Uh, let's see. Libra, Taurus is here. Scorpio. All right, so we have the Ten of Swords and the Four of Cups. Yeah, this person is, is either ending something elsewhere and they do feel a, maybe a little guilt over that because there's a sense of betrayal. But it's because they don't want a missed opportunity with you. It's So either they're ending something else elsewhere or they are looking at the past of the ending between the two of you, realizing that this is going to be a missed opportunity if they don't get up off their behind that they've kind of been so stuck in the past that they haven't been paying attention to what's right in front of their face. 
um, for a lot of you, this person could even be like um, appearing as if they're ignoring you. They're not. They're looking at everything that has happened in this relationship. All right. The Fool in Reverse and the Eight of Cups Reversed. Yeah, they're very troubled. So they they want a new beginning with you, but they are so fearful of what's going to happen here. Um, this is why they're moving slowly. They are headed back in your direction. I feel like this person actually did try to walk away from this connection and found that they couldn't. Now they're kind of in this situation of how do I resolve these problems? There's a lot of problems between us now. They want to move back in your direction, but they're afraid that you're not going to not going to take a risk and they have a fear of taking a risk as well so they're kind of in a no man's land they can't quit you and they can't they can't quite get themselves to move towards you fully either all right so we have the strength card and we have the six of swords reversed okay so they're going to fight for the connection they are headed back in your direction they're feeling a little bit stuck right now. They could be stuck in some ego, so be aware of that. I'm getting uh, I'm getting two cards now that tell me that they have kind of a big ego here. They don't want to get crushed. They're afraid you're going to totally turn them down, and it's going to crush them. They're going to feel all betrayed, and then they're going to go back into that period of feeling sorry for themselves. This person, it's a cyclical thing that's going on. You don't want to have anything to do with that cycle. You're trying to close that cycle out. Um, I can see that this person is a little bit stuck in their ego, but they are working on themselves. They definitely are working for, on themselves, and they they want to they want to move back into this connection. They want to fight for the connection. Let's see why the Empress is here. So your energy just feels a lot, um, a lot clearer than theirs is. Theirs has a lot of fear involved in it, but they are overcoming that. They're they're trying to overcome it anyway. Why is the Empress here? All right, we have the Page of Pentacles reversed. We have the King of Swords reverse. We have the Queen of Swords reverse. Well, there's a royal couple. All right. So if you're dealing with an air sign, this is especially strong energy. So there is a potential for this connection to really grow. It's it's changing. The connection is changing. But right now, there's an offer here that's not coming through. So what you're seeing with this person, Cancer, and what's actually taking place underneath everything are two different things. They're wearing a mask. They're probably presenting to you that they don't, they're not even interested. They are. They're looking at everything in the past and they're trying to resolve their own fears here. Um, they may be angry, but you may be angry as well. Um, the two of you the two of you are definitely, um, <laughs> you've definitely got some, had some words. There's some sharp energy here. I do feel that you may feel that they're dishonest. They feel you're dishonest. They feel that you're cutting them out, that you're being, you know, kind of bitchy or kind of being um, a nasty person to deal with. Now, I can see that you want to heal this relationship, but you feel like you're stuck in a dishonest um, circumstances with this person. So you're not going to accept anything that they have to offer under those conditions. But things are changing. Now, in their energy, they're pretending like they don't even know you're alive at times. They are seeing you as being, you know, dishonest as well. They're seeing you as being, you know, cutting or mean. Um, they're very focused on the ending that's taken place here between the two of you. And so they're, they're withholding communication and they're withholding any kind of, of an offer. Um, however, <laughs> things are changing. And I know that you don't feel it right now, but all these problems are, are resolving. It, it just doesn't seem like it. 
The energy underneath is changing, though. All right, Seven of Cups. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so what's affecting the connection is that there is success here. Um, you're looking at options here. You're a little bit confused about this person. I can see that. You may even be confused whether or not they are a soulmate or, you know, just exactly who they are in your life. If, uh, if Or if you should communicate with this person. The signs in the cards are telling me that you should. It is an option for you. I do see confusion and I see on their side, part of the reason you're feeling confused is because they're holding back from this new beginning and they're holding back because they're afraid of taking a risk. So it's a matter of time before this energy turns and changes. At that point, all these problems are gonna resolve. They may be having to walk away from another situation and end another situation as well. Um, I'm also seeing that this person could have fears related to finances and money. Um, yeah, there's something to do with finances and money. They could have had a big financial loss as well. They've got a lot on their plate, to be honest with you. They're dealing with a lot, but they're going to overcome all of it. They're just in a state of fear right now, and that's what's holding them back. That and their anger. Um, plus, some of them are playing victim, and they're a little bit in their ego. So, both of you are going, and you're in this state of confusion about what, what this, you know, connection really is. Both of you are going to overcome all of that. And it looks like they have more that they have to overcome than you do. Once you do, that's when you gain success, and you're going to. That's when this communication comes through, this offer comes through. There's uh, the king and queen of swords now goes into the upright. This person um, is going to be willing to talk. You're going to be coming across as very honest and direct, but it's a matter of resolving these issues. Let's look at your outcome. Yeah, this is a complex uh, relationship that you guys have going on here. And I do feel like there's a lot of things that are happening right now that are not seen in the 3D. But it doesn't mean that they're not happening. And then we see at the end of the week, there's going to be a reveal. Death card in reverse. Knight of Cups. And the Seven of Pentacles reverse. Yeah. So what's going to be revealed? A love offer. Yeah, your emotions, your feelings, that's what's going to be revealed. You're wanting to close out this cycle here, this cycle of confusion, this cycle where, you know, things have been turned upside down. You want to rebuild something. And I do feel like you're making plans. You're, you're in a planning stage and you're impatient either to receive this cup of love or to give this cup of love. I do see that there's an offer of love that's being revealed. Now, this person in your energy, they, they cannot move away from you. They actually have tried to, to be honest with you. They've tried to, but they can't do it. I do see them kind of overcoming that energy of, of pride and arrogance. I see them working on themselves. And again, I see them moving back in your direction. They have not let go of you. They definitely have not let go of you. There's, there's unfinished business between the two of you. You haven't really been investing in this situation as of yet, but it's because you're waiting for love to be revealed to you. You're not wanting to invest in something that's not going to get you anywhere. And there's a lot of lack of clarity. You want the clarity. Now, when you come in, this person could, if you're the one moving towards them, they could kind of be a little abrasive in the beginning, but they're going to kind of get that under wraps. And if they're the ones moving towards you, um, but for most of you, I feel like you're moving towards them for some reason. But if they're the ones moving towards you, it's because they they can't quite let go here. 
it's like they're just hovering in the in the shadows and they're wearing this mask of I don't care, but they really do care. <laughs> they really do care. And all of this is going to come out. Bottom of the deck is the nine of pentacles reversed. So there may be some insecurities that's underlying all of this, either for you or the other person. There's some insecurities. There's feelings of loss as well. And finances could be affecting it. So there's a lot of things that are up in the air in this connection. And I do feel like you're going to get more information in some manner by the end of the week. And I do see an exchange of love happening. Let's see what your Oracle card says. Okay, so let's see. You have number nine. Nines tell you that you're close to the end of a cycle. I'm using the Oracle of Visions here by Cyril Marchetti. And I really like these cards, so I wanted to use these for you. All right. So it says, support bearing the weight of others. Tis not enough to help the feeble up, but to support them after William Shakespeare. All right. This card represents the offering of strength and assistance and bearing a burden on behalf of others. Providing support can take many forms, moral, emotional, physical, and financial. We can offer our shoulders to bear the weight or lend an ear to share grief. Here, a jester offers his shoulders on which the girl can perform. He raises her up, allowing her to be the focus of the audience's attention. His subdued posture deliberately taking second place. His hidden ident his identity hidden, he provides an anonymous contribution. In the background, there are three tarot strength cards which serve as props and reaffirm this card's message. Let's look at those cards. Yeah, the strength cards. Oh, I love it. Okay. While the effort and gesture is a noble one, there are times where we should come out of the shadows and take credit for our contributions. You do not always have to settle for being second fiddle. Be careful not to allow others to take advantage of your generosity. Okay. Well, that couldn't be more clear. So, guys, you are, I feel like cancer signs are always very, very supportive but maybe it's time that you step out of the shadows and you take some of the uh, take some of the credit for what it is that you're contributing here. Don't remain in just a supportive role. I'm not suggesting that being supportive is not a good idea. I think it is, and it takes a lot of strength to do that. However, you know, don't always be in the supportive role. It's okay for you to step out of the limelight and take credit as well. All right. Okay, I hope this has been helpful for you guys. If you have resonated with it, hit the like button and go ahead. Um, feel free to share it as well. It gets the algorithm moving. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I'd be grateful if you do. And until I see you guys in your regular weekly readings, namaste.